Hello and welcome to another one of my wash videos. I pulled another digital out from the, from a cabinet just to make a quick video of. Uh, this one is quite a nice watch. It's new old stock as in it's never been worn, never been used. Um, it is a 1984 Casio CA505 and this one still has the original uh, I'll just move that to one side for the time being. This one still has the part of the case that it came in. Uh, it's missing the front perspex that would have uh, you know, gone, gone across the front and clipped on here. Uh, but it retains the uh, instructions in the back. Uh, for Well, as I've mentioned in other videos, the instructions are always for the module and uh, the module is what the the actual movement is on a digital watch so quite often you find the same module in different watches so the model number is the uh, like the case and the style of the strap at the case and the module is uh, the movement inside it uh, i'll show a picture at the end of the case back that shows the model number and the uh, the module number so this is the instructions it's very standard Casio it's I think it's in a couple of languages uh, sometimes they're stamped in the back somewhere oh look here we go Ward's Jewelers looks like it was sold in 1988 so they had that one in stock for a while Ward's Jewelers, I don't know where that is. Um, so that's the, the module uh, instructions. So getting onto the watch, uh, you may notice that the buttons have uh, started to perish slightly, which is uh, a common trait of this model, unfortunately, uh, as with a lot of uh, rubber from that period it just perishes over time and the oil off your skin uh, you know it rapidly accelerates that as well so some buttons are okay but some of them on this side mainly down this side have been touched uh, unfortunately I found this at a car boot sale in the UK uh, I actually saw somebody, somebody else had it in their hands and they were pressing all these buttons here and I think well I guess it was my gain in a way because I think they realized that these buttons had gone perished so they put the watch down uh, which is when I picked it up um, so I think to be honest it probably came out that morning from a house clearance uh, like a uh, like a yard sale as you would call in the states and uh, the, the was probably pristine before it got put out that morning but as I said I, I wasn't the first person to look at it so I think they did the damage on that morning unfortunately but anyway I came home popped in a new battery and uh, away it went so as you can see it's in a it's in lovely condition So basically it just has one button on the side, so we press it once, that's going to go straight into the calculator. Uh, I mean these buttons do work, I don't really want to touch them too much. So you can see, it, you know, I'll not uh, touch that anymore, but they, I think you can buy, I think the, the current Casio like uh, uh, retro watches, I've read that you can use the membrane off one of those and it's a straight swap i think you have to clip the corners just put it in so i may change that in the future i may not i don't know uh, so that clears it so straight away it goes back that's the alarm and that's the dual time that's the stopwatch it works off uh, these bottom buttons start and stop here in fact a lot of things work off the numbered buttons there uh, have like alarm 
on off lap reset uh, date time signal things like that uh, I'll take a close-up of the keyboard put that on at the end so you can see that and then that just takes it back to the normal time uh, we'll have no light on this watch I don't think That's the case back. Right. Thanks for watching.